Hi everyone, it's chapter 7, lesson 3. We're at the penultimate lesson for this course. We are going to build our project. Now right at the beginning of the course, I did explain that I'm building in Windows, everything I do is in Windows. Uh, if you want to know how to do this in Mac, um, I can sort of show you where the buttons are, but I have no idea how to do it. So you're going to have to go and uh, figure out how to make it work yourself. Um, I can definitely show you how to export it, but uh, I won't show you how to run it. So what we need to do, we've got our scene, we've got our project, we've built some interaction. When you hit play, that is the best indication of how it actually work when it's built out. So that's our, our game window there. Now I have put in two cameras and set them to two displays. I'm gonna leave that there because that's kind of useful. You, if you had a monitor that has two displays and you've got one set up, um, I mean, I can show you if you go to your display settings in your computer, I've only got one monitor. It's a super long one, 5K width but if you had multiple displays you'd see them here and they'd be labeled one and two if you click identify it will show you which one's which uh, that relates to this here display one display two so uh, that's worth keeping so what we do is we go to build settings by going to file build settings don't go to build and run you've got to set things up first first thing to do is to add open scenes now we're using the scene that came as default, which is Unity Training. I've already added that. If you had lots of scenes, like if you created the button that takes you to a different scene that you built, uh, and that's by that I mean a completely different level, where you're on File, Save As, and there's a different actual scene, you'd have to add that in as well, otherwise it doesn't get included in your build. Um, and then these are all the platforms you could build to. I mean, these are the ones I've included as modules, there's others. Uh, I don't, I do have Mac, so when I click on PC up here, it's set to Windows, but I could change that to Mac if I downloaded the module, and I haven't, so I can't do it, because I don't have a Mac. Um, and the architecture you're building to, best to have it on, on the defaults. Uh, you can say it's a development build, which just allows uh, some debugging information to be stored on the computer, so you can check if something's not working. Um, if you're trying to build for Android, it's a whole other thing. <laughs> um, I don't want to scare you, but it won't just work if you just switch the platform to Android. There's a whole load of setting up and configuring for all, all the Android Studio platform, all the SDKs. Uh, there's a lesson just in that. iOS, same for iPads and, and iPhones. Um, it works a lot more easily, but once you've built the project, which should happen quite easily, you then need to take it to Xcode on, a, on an actual Mac. You, so I can't do it, so I give it to my colleagues to, to, to build from it on his Mac. Uh, Lumen is Magic Leap. Um, the Lumen SDK has been configured. This is the sort of issues you get if you try to build a different platform. Uh, and that's because I haven't downloaded the Lumen package and stored it on the computer. So Unity just doesn't know how to build for that package because it can't find the, the SDK, the software developer kit that has the information about how to package it up for Lumen. And of course, you've got PS4s and just arrived recently as a PS5. Like they've got it into to Unity, but they can't ship me my one, can they? Um, can't get them for love and money at the moment. But you know, you've got different platforms there you could build for if you're registered as a developer for Sony. And Universal Window Platform uh, is the old system that we used to use for HoloLens. I'm not sure if HoloLens 2 still uses that or not. So we're going to build for PC. We've added Open Scene, the compression method. We're just going to leave that on default. Um, Player settings, main one to go to. We've been to there a few times during the scene. The main thing you want to do is just change some names here. So I like to always have Copper Candle, which is my company, as the company name, so that if I have a library of products that I've built, they are always listed as Copper Candle, not the full company. The version, normal one's fine because this is a demo, but if you were releasing it to the public, you might make it one. It's called Unity Training. Um, and in here, you've got settings for all those different platforms, iOS, Lumen, Android. Uh, WebGL, but we're in PC. You might want to add in um, an icon that could live, you know, so when you double click on it on your desktop, you actually got a pretty icon of your, your company or something. But at the moment, we don't need to touch any of this. There's loads of fiddly settings that you have to Google when things don't work. And it says, go in your player settings and fix it. Um, so the default settings will be fine for what we're doing here. And the last thing that's gonna happen is that when we hit build, it's gonna ask us to save it. Um, but I'm going to choose build and run. So the difference is that when you hit build, it will build the project and save it in your desktop, and then you go in and double click on the icon. Uh, build and run, you don't double click on the icon, it just launches it when it's ready, which is just a really clear way of knowing that it's finished building. So I'm going to click build and run. Uh, this is my folder. Um, first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder, and I'm going to call it build. Really important that you just keep building it in a separate place, otherwise it makes a mess. Once you select folder, that's it, it will start. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to say prepare for build. 99.9% um, .9 of the time it will fail because of something you've done that you didn't realize. There'll be a, 
Uh, console error, in your console you've got these little red error messages, it usually give you a problem of some sort. But actually a, a very straightforward app for PC, they're, they're fairly reliable. It's the Android stuff you've got to watch out for, they can be really tricky. Right, here we go, nearly done, packaging. So when it's finished it will um, try to build it into an actual project, it will live in that folder that we were, we were just looking at. So where was I, let's go to, while that's building I'm just going to load up the, the place where we saved the project. So I've got my Unity training folder. So in here I've got my, my build folder and you see it's starting to, oh, not doing it yet but it will soon start populating that information. There we go. And wonderful, I only got half the screen but it's loads of that web page again, which you just can't help doing. And we're missing our character, which is curious, but that is an app, that is a game that's running. Um, I have no idea where the person's gone. I've got some controls so I can move the scene around. To hold down right mouse click. It's all a bit inverted, it's not how I like it to be. Uh, and if I hit space bar, nothing. Ah, so I'm probably put my, ah, how what it is, it's loaded up one camera and the UI is in the other display. But yeah, you can see, that is a visualization. It's running an app. You can send that to someone. Uh, I didn't build a quick button into it. It's something that would be really useful. So I have to press Alt F4 to close it. Um, and if we look at my folder where, the project folder that we had everything in, that's the build folder I just created. And that's the app, unitytraining.exe. You have to give somebody all of this. So what I would do is just zip up the build folder. I'd rename it something appropriate. And then you can send this to a client. You can send it to your design team whatever, uh, and that will run on any computer, any Windows computer. And obviously if you've got a Mac version, you get a version of this for Mac. Uh, I don't know how those open, but uh, it's the same thing. And that's it. We have built a complete app of Jesus Christ Superstar, a visualization, to send to somebody so they can have a look around. Um, in the last lesson, we're just going to talk about what we can what we can do with this, where, where you go from here, what other lessons we could, we could look at in the future, um, and where you go for advice. Thank you very much.